In this video, we talk about how therapeutic lifestyle changes can prevent the onset of diabetes in those who already have pre-diabetes. By pre-diabetes, we mean those who have HbA1c of 5.7 to 6.4. If these individuals are, are motivated for therapeutic lifestyle changes, which include 1. Regular physical activity to the tune of at least 30 minutes per day for at least 5 days a week. Second, diet changes, which include calorie restriction of at least 500 kilocalories per day and thirdly by these mechanisms if weight loss is promoted to the tune of at least 7 to 10 percent per day so if these three things are inculcated as part of therapeutic lifestyle changes we can prevent the progression from pre-diabetes to diabetes to at least few years so we all know that india is the diabetes capital of the world and there is a good huge number of patients who already have pre-diabetes so inculcation of these changes will, gain, give, uh, will go a long way in promoting health. In this video, we talk about barriers to correct medicine intake, particularly reference to type 2 diabetes. Well, there can be many barriers to intake of uh, medicines and these include disbeliefs of uh, the patients, they can include financial issues and they, get in, they can include complex dosing schedules of the prescriptions. Uh, what can we do about it? Well, as far as the beliefs, disbeliefs is concerned, well, the onus lies, lies on the healthcare providers to properly educate the patients while prescribing the drugs. Uh, as far as the complex dosing schedule is concerned, we can take certain steps so that doses are not missed and they can, and they can include uh, advising the patient to taking uh, the drug at the same point of time every day. The patient may be advised to link up activities of daily living with uh, drug intake like toothbrushing, taking a meal, going to bed. Uh, well, as far as uh, the uh, healthcare provider is concerned, actually as I said, the onus lies on him or her to act properly educate the patient to shell out the disbeliefs that intake of drug is important to, to beforehand uh, tell the patient about the possible anticipated side effects so that when they do occur the patient does not panic. In this video, we talk about uh, family and diabetes. The first part pertains to whether diabetes is familial. Yes, diabetes is familial and type 2 diabetes is rather more uh, familiar, more inherited than compared to type 1 diabetes. If we talk of uh, the environmental risk factors of diabetes, they can be more taken care of if the family as such is more, uh, I mean, uh, motivated to prevent diabetes and this include lack of physical activity, uh, management of obesity, good eating habits and management of stress. Moreover, uh, if someone in family has diabetes, we can distribute the roles among family as well, uh, give the person with diabetes, particularly someone who is on insulin, less strenuous roles and also everyone should know the symptoms of hypoglycemia which include tremulousness, sweating, hunger, headache and if this develops, we should know the rule of 15. The rule of 15 includes Checking blood glucose, if it is less than 70, giving 15 grams of carbohydrates, which means 3 heap tablespoonful of uh, glucose and checking glucose after 15 minutes once again. If it is still less than 70, repeating this all over again until the glucose goes to more than 100. So, uh, diabetes is familiar, one part. And yes, management of diabetes includes the family per se as a healthcare provider, second part. In this video, we talk about the common uh, causes of non-adherence of patients towards prescriptions and what can we do about it. Well, the common causes include financial issues, they can be disbeliefs on the part of the patient and they can be complex dosing schedules. Uh, what can we do about this? Well, as far as disbeliefs are concerned, the onus lies on us healthcare providers to properly educate the patient about diabetes and about the drugs, why is it very important to take the drugs. As far as uh, complex dosing schedule is concerned, 
well we can tell the patient to actually take the pill same time every day so that it is not missed we can advise the patient to link up the intake of pills to certain activities of daily living like toothbrushing or taking a meal or going to bed uh, finally uh, as we discussed earlier as well we can educate the family members the caregivers to help the patient in remembering the intake of uh, drugs as far as the uh, prescription is concerned so if we take care of these small little things we can improve the adherence and improve the overall glycemic management of the patient